Hello and welcome to episode 20 of series 1 of Master League Story Mode. Wow, 20 episodes, we're out of the teens. That's pretty exciting. But we've got some pressing business to deal with in the next three days before the end of the transfer window. Other than our game against Cardiff today, we do really need to see if we can get in a replacement left or right side of midfielder. Just as a, a good impact sub. So we've got a scout out at the moment, but it looks like we've only got two days left till the end of the window. That We're not going to hear anything back from him. So it's time to look at some of the Lynx teams again. So Villa, is there anyone here? Grealish, again, every time we come through here, I think that'd be a good signing. He's quick, but let's have a look at his... Uh, He's a used prospect. We'll put in a bid for him. He would be better than nothing, wouldn't he? So, see how that goes. We should definitely be able to afford him. Dharma Traore, he'd be great. Stoke, using that Shea Given connection. One of the more tenuous ones. Uh, doesn't look like many people we could even deal with. Odd and Wingy. See, these are all way too expensive, actually. We're never going to be able to afford any of them. It's not really even worth putting a bid in. Nope, nothing there. Nothing at the spuds. So keep steaming through here. Last but not least, in the Prem, we've got West Ham United using that Harry, Harry Redknapp, Slaven Bilic. Two level connection that we just about wrangled so that we could sign Reese Oxford. So why not keep dealing with them now that I've decided that's okay? I like Antonio in real life. He's been good this season. Two million. Worth a sh a, a, an outside bet. Only one out of five chance of signing makes that pretty unlikely. But never, you never know. So into the championship now. We've got Queen's Park Rangers. And almost my sort of second scout at the moment. Outside the scout in this game. Kakarot. Great commenter consistently good suggestions on who I should sign. He obviously thought Matty Phillips would be a good signing and I completely agreed with him, but doesn't look like we would be able to anyway and he's going to be, yeah, 4 million at least. So uh, let's have a look and see if there's anyone else. Uh, Jamie Mackey. He's retiring this season at only 31. Jamie, that's, that's sad times. I thought he was a decent player. So nothing really. We're... Coming up a bit short here. Who did we have as well? Ah, yes. Obviously, the AVB link. Let's take another look. A little trip to Russia. To Zenit St. Petersburg. To have a chat with his old bro. His old pal, I'm sure. Andre Villas-Boas. Anything going? Well, he looks decent for an old, old man. Good passer. Good dribbler. Slow, but uh, I like him. We need to be more thorough here because we do need another player. Iki Chianya, I come by him every time we roll around to Watford to see what they've got. He might be a touch expensive, but he is a very versatile player, so we'll put in a bid for him. So there we go. So hopefully, we can make some deals there in the next two days. We might have been cutting it a little fine. We might have something deadline day to work on. But uh, yeah, let's get into the first game. So we're back at Ewood Park up against Cardiff City. Let's see how we're doing. Oh, Jordan. Not looking great. On a downward blue arrow. Not sure why that is. Maybe he's not too pleased that Fish has been taking away some of his uh, attention that he's had. But this is the perfect opportunity for Obby to come in. Come on, Obby. We need you. Now, Oxford, an absolute blinding debut. There's a big part of me that thinks that we should be starting him over Duffy. But Duffy's only 24 as well, so he's got room to improve. And he is improving, as is Hanley. He's 25, but he's our captain. He's been really good. So I think Oxford starts on the bench today, even though he probably did enough in the last game to uh, impress Tim Sherwood. So this is the first time starting Ulari and Fisher up front. Should be interesting. Tide is looking a bit tied. Tired, even. But we'll bring on low for him midway if we need to. Quick little look at Cardiff City. They've got a good team. 
Really good team. Peter Whittingham in the centre. He's a good player. Noon on the right. Dangerous as well. Makeda up front. Ex-Man United. Title winning striker. So, not necessarily going to be an easy game. Let's see how we do. Back at Ewood Park. The Fortress. We have been absolutely indestructible playing at home so far this season. And that huge, huge crowd. They're coming out. They know that the Premier League... It's pretty much a dead cert. Automatic promotion. Looks to be in sight. We're only halfway through the season, but... They know that Tim has got it. He's got the balls to see this through. Or hopefully he has. And this team is coming together really nicely. Look at those stars. So, Obby got his goal last week just about. He bundled one in. So, let's see if him playing up front with Victor Fisher can do anything. Oh, Fisher just can get to that ball through. Gravity's won it back. Into Fisher. Looks for the ball straight over to Lara. He's a bit slow off the mark. Cardiff trying to keep possession. Has to whip it over, but Carly's in there to knock it out. Lovely little back heel in from him to the... But Carly Fisher through on goal. Oh, the ball through was lacking. Nice bit of interplay there in the middle of the park between Veritu and Bacali. Veritu here in swinging corner looking for the head of Ulari. Oh, he gets his head on it. Did the keeper get a touch? It's gone over the bar. No, it's a goal kick. That's unfortunate. Obby potentially should have done a bit better there. He's not scored many with his head considering he is an absolute beast. Oh, Henley caught in possession there. Out to Makeda. Dummy's Duffy, but Duffy gets the block in at the second attempt. It's a good play from Duffy. And G inside here. Little trip over to Fisher. Into Ulari. Turns his man nicely. Oh, the pass is lacking though. Tyden takes it away nicely. Oh, that ball. Well off target. Good play by Cameron Jones inside to Noon. They've got some dangerous players, Noon being one of them. Steps inside really well. Into Whittingham, who's wriggled away. Oh. Nearly. That was so close. Oh, wait, wait. No, it's been pulled back for an earlier problem, is it? It's not a penalty. No, it was an earlier tackle. Gosh. That was worrying, because Henley had put in a sliding tackle on the shooting player. Inside the box, but unfortunately, or well, fortunately for us, wasn't to be. But this is a dangerous area. First player steps over at Whittingham, hits it well. Oh! Cardiff take the lead. Blackburn really not able to work anything in this first half. And uh, we've been made to pay. It's Cardiff's first chance of the game. It's a good free kick from Whittingham. You very rarely see these missed by the opposition. Well, hopefully that will be the rocket up Blackburn's backside that we really need because we've not really produced much. Ulari steaming forward here. Into Fisher. Hits it with the left straight at the keeper. That's still our first shot. A bit more urgency though, which is good. And G manages to get there, but he can only head it back into Garley. And they out really well. But, oh, no, he just about gets there. Oh, and he's fouled. Spur carries on into Fisher. Gets away from his man just about. Lines up the shot. Oh. Henley into Veritu. Slips it into Fisher. Oh, the cross is well over everyone's head. Can Bacali get there before it goes out? Oh, Noon's kept it in, allowing Bacali to get there. Is it fall to Fisher? Sneaks his way through, left foot shot. Oh, Lari couldn't react in time. Half's coming to an end. We could really do with something before the end of the half. Tider motoring. Pushes off Garley. Gets the shot in. Straight at Marshall again. Better here from Blackburn, but it should not have taken the goal to inspire this sort of play. Going to Cardiff City. Played on by Cameron Jones. Good running again by Tider. He loves these runs from deep. He's got no backup from anyone, but he's kept going. Dummies the shot. Safir Tider. Laurie. Yes, the rebound. Obby finishes with the left. He was a bit slow to follow the run of Tider. And fair enough, because he was streaking through all on his own. But he pulls the bolt. And that's uh, two and two for Obby Laurie. 
Starting to score some goals. And it was a vital one before the end of the half. Tider decided, fuck this, I'm just going on my own. Muscled through, he had no one with him. Late run from Veratu, wasn't spotted. Tider made his way inside, went for the shot, it was a good block. But Ulari there to follow up, and actually a pretty decent finish from the youngster with his non-favoured foot. Safir Tider again, running from deep with that power and pace. Really pleased with him so far. He's been worth every penny of the 8 million that we signed him for. And there it is, half time. A goal just at the very last possible second. And that's just what we needed. Going back, all things all things square, all things equal for the second half. Not a great half from Duffy. He shakes his head and rightly so. So second half. Let's see if we can uh, be a little bit more efficient in this half. Keep the ball a bit better. Try and string together some passes. Fisher does really well. And G looks through Lari straight away. Oh... Well cut out by Kudamanga. Veritas was in there causing mischief again. Is that a foul? It is. Unfortunate. That's Carver Veritas. He's had a bit of a frustrating game. And that was a very late tackle. From behind as well. So, we'll be right for the card. Yeah. There's no malice in it. It's just mistimed. Hanley does really well to get ahead of his man, Tyler. Streaming through the middle once again. They just can't stick with him. Got Veritu in the box. Veritu with a poked finish. Wide. Just wide. Good play from the central midfield duo. Tyler with a lovely ball swept through. Veritu took it nicely on the run. Only had a chance to get in a toe poke. It was just wide. And she wins it back. All through to Alari. Oh, it's inside the box, surely. Is that a penalty? It's got to be. It is. Referee points to the spot and it's a red card. You don't see many of them. You do not see many of them. Especially from the AI. So that's interesting. Good refereeing there. Ulari just manages to get ahead of him. Debatable whether that was in the box or not. Oh, just about sneaks it past. Jordan Veritu. Grabs the second. I'm glad that we let him take it because the keeper went the right way. He's got 85 in penalties, so he was unlikely to miss. Good stuff. Good play from NG winning the ball back. Finding Ulari. He probably would have scored anyway. He was taken down. And now against 11 men, we really need to ram this home. Veritu goes down low to the right-hand side of the goal. Keeper could have done better there, really. Guessed right. Fisher, good hustle straight away. Driving forward, we've not seen much from the Dane today. Slips it through to Veritu. Left foot finish, and there it is. That's number three. Great running from Victor Fisher. Nicked it off them straight from the restart. Dribbles through, and then unselfishly finds Veritu. He's back in the goals, two today. Straight from the start, Fisher was in there to nick it away. Against the 11 men, the 10 men even, Cardiff City. Good feet, good dribbling, and that's a calm finish from Jordan Veritu. Fisher with the geezer press. Tyler gets a foot in. Back into Spur. Oh, Bacali steps away from two. He puts on the afterburners. The ball into Fisher. Little chip over the keeper. Oh, that would have been nice. Good play from Bacali there. Veritu along the line to G turns his man. He's got Bacali on the far post. It's got to be, and it's a goal for Zachary Bacali. The two wingers linking up nicely there. Bacali has deserved a goal. He's played well so far. Oh, gutted. Absolutely gutted. Let's take a look. So Veritu once more does really well to win it back. And G makes the run down the right. Turns his man with ease. Bacali's way ahead of his defender there. He's got acres of space. He's not going to miss from there. It's a 4 1. Very quickly, this game has slipped from Cardiff's reach. And it's at these times where they're trying to get back into the game. The geezer press is so effective. Their confidence has been knocked, and then suddenly we're just running at them. 
Oh, Wobby's been injured. I didn't even notice that happening. So Wobby's gone off. I'll give Tyler a rest. Getting a bit tired. Oh, let Olsen come on for Bacali. Game one now. We can give these two a rest. Bacali and Tyler are two big money signings so far. Both been definitely worth it. Lari is actually properly injured now, so we've got to take off Jordan Rhodes. We can put Jordan Rhodes on. Lari not even there. I don't know where he's gone. He's gone down the tunnel already. He's already on the treatment room. Can Fisher get his goal to keep his scoring record intact? A goal in every game since his start. Oh, that is really poor there. Great ball in to Olsen. Oh. Dummy's it. Finish. Oh, he's put it wide. Oh, The ball from low was majestic. He's been spraying these passes around with ease. Into the substitute. The other substitute, Olsen. Dummy back onto his left foot. He was under pressure from the defender, but he shouldn't have missed from there. Oh, Fischel puts the pressure on. He wants his goal of his own. Steaming into the area. Can he get a finish in? He can. And there it is. Fisher gets his goal. He's been working so hard up front. Putting the pressure on. Making it an absolute nightmare to play against. With the Cardiff City defenders. And once again he's pressuring. Comes up trumps. Just powers through the defender. He had Rose ahead of him. He had Lowe to his right. But he only had one thing in mind after winning it back. And the defenders stood off him. Inviting him to poke it over the unrunning keeper. Just look at that pressure. That is the geezer press in action. That is the geezer press condensed into one lovely frame. And then the clinical finishing afterwards. Little dink. Good play from Cameron Jones to find Ricader. He's barely had a touch. Out to Gunnarsson. He's got Spur for company. Cuts it back inside to Cameron Jones. The ball in is good. Oh, can Halley get it away? Can't save by the feet of Jason Steele. Kenwin Jones could have had a consolation goal there, or another consolation goal. A good ball in. Hanley looked like he dealt with it, but he tried to do too much, tried to turn. Oh, look at that save. Don't know how much he knew about it. Low, Hanley, low. Blackburn just keeping possession here. The game's won. Oh, Low takes it back off him. This is a good run from Low. He get a goal, he can't. Veratu follows up. Could have had his hat-trick there. Low, Fisher, Olsen, Veratu. Low again. Oh, good tackle though. And that's full time. Great result. Absolutely steamrollering teams like Cardiff at the moment. No bother at all. Veratu, two goals. 13 shots on target. Peppering the Cardiff City goal. Ewood Park is an absolute fortress. There's no doubt about that. Fisher, man of the match. Even though he got one goal. Ulari, seven. Sevens all round. That's really great. Let's hope Ulari's injury isn't anything too bad. So the unstoppable Blackburn train chugs on. Look at this. Well clear. 91 goals. Unstoppable. Burnley and Hull, though, look like they're still in a pretty close battle for second spot at the moment. And then below that, well, Cardiff City are actually fifth in the league, so they're not doing too badly. But they were just swept aside by a Blackburn team in incredible form. And G is increasing, 77. He's becoming a very good player. Six matches, five wins, one draw. Lovely. Fisher with six goals in six games. Great start to his career. 7.3 average ratings. Insane. Insane. I don't know how many of those games he played in, but he's been pretty good. Two assists as well. He's been incredible. I'm glad we're going to have the opportunity to sign him. Anything of note? Not really. A lot been going down the centre. Oh, Tider. He's been tidy, as we expected. Good dribbling. Good passing. Good pass completion. He's been winning the ball back, dribbling and passing well. This is what we bought him for. And he's already shown that. Veratu's had a better few games. He had a little bit of a dip in form. He seems to be back. Back in the goals. Back on the uh, 
Oh, look at Hanley. He's been brutal. 16 battles won in the air. He's really, really great there. Ilari as well, starting to put his size to good use. And when it comes to shooting, Bacali's still one of our most efficient shooters. But Victor Fisher, 40% success rate. It's huge. Absolutely huge. And that's why he scored so many goals. Tider has done really well. He's bagged some goals, which is always nice to see. Okay. So we've had dealings back for Antonio and Anya. Oh, Laurie, out until April. Fucking hell. That is a setback. I've never seen an injury that bad. Oh, Laurie, that is a real shame. He's just starting to score some goals. I'm gutted for him. Absolutely gutted for the lad. It's a real shame. Back to the transfers. Grealish and Traore and the other guy. Neither of them went through. Let's see if we can afford Antonio and Anya. I've got a sneaking suspicion we probably won't be able to. And being as it's the last day, can't do any uh, negotiating. So who have we got to look at? Antonio, 2.6. No, we're never going to be able to afford him. Even if we sold Coita and Low, No, I don't think that's going to... Not going to be able to afford him. And Anya, 2.9. Oh, that's too much as well. So I don't think we'd be able to afford anyone here unless we were to sell Bacali. Oh, look at Bacali. They want 9 million. Obviously, we'd never let him go. But that's a shame. No new signings before the end of the season. We should have really acted a bit quicker there. That's disappointing. And now with Ulari out, the team is going to be looking pretty poor when it comes to substitutes. I mean, what we can do... I mean, luckily, obviously, we've got Fisher. If we didn't have him, we'd be in real trouble. <clears throat> and, you know, in G, you can play up front in a pinch. So it's not too much of an issue. Akali's improving as well. That's great. Great to see. Let's look at our team of the month. Fisher in there, obviously. Tider, Beratu, Rhodes. These are players of a very high quality for the championship. We've got to remember that. So they're going to be right at home in the Premier League. So that was a disappointing transfer window. But, oh well. Straight back into it. There's Tim, full of confidence, ahead of today's derby match. Not derby match, match against derby. Okay, so we're away at derby. This could be a tricky game. They were not an easy team to come up against at the beginning of the season. See how we're doing. Tider on a red, but he's looking tired. Hanley is tired as well. I think we'll bring in the youngster, Reese Oxford, for this match. Had a good debut. Happy to start him. Still looking tired, but he should be okay. Fisher, we may need to bring on. Unfortunately, Ulari out for 13 weeks. That is a real killer. I'm absolutely gutted. No amount of passion tokens. It's going to save him now. Bacali is improving. He's getting a bit better. Anyway, up against Darren Bent again. We've got a goal in the last game. Vyman and Ince also dangerous. And a good midfield trio of Hughes, Johnson and Butterfield. Oxford, we want another good performance from you. Steele, instilling a bit of confidence in him. The youngster coming into a big game here. But we've got, we've got, definitely got faith in him, as has Tim. Obviously to bring him in, an important match. So I suspect this to be a pretty hard game. Derby, if I recall, are definitely a possession team. So we want to be uh, hitting them with the geezer press when we can. And then breaking. Good play, though, to start off the match from Derby. Out to Forsyth. Henley comes to meet him, but he can't win it back. The ball in's good. Oh, and Oxford is beaten in the air straight away. Hanley almost certainly would have won that. Not a great start. Vyman sneaks ahead of him. And uh, Derby off the mark already. Oxford found wanting there. Good play down the left. Cut back inside. Looked like he'd been tackled, but he hadn't. The ball in was nice. Oxford went up for it with Vyman. He lost out. So not the best start for Blackburn or for Oxford. But, you know, these things happen. Ah, misplaced pass from Jordan Rhodes. Straight into Hughes. We can't be giving away possession that easily against a team who will just keep it if you do. And gee, can he turn? He can. Can he get away from Butterfield? No, the tackle in is strong. Veratu whips it out to Henley. Fisher, Veratu. And G away from his man. You get the cross in. He can't. It's blocked.
Oh, Fisher nearly in on him there. Spur ahead of Vyman now. Oh. Good play though from Spur. Finds Bacali. Continues his run down the left. Carly Spur in a lot of space. Rhodes is up. Oh, he can't quite get it. The header down and on target. Decent bit of play though. Good overlapping run by Spur. Puts in a tasty little ball. Rhodes can't direct the header downwards. Ball out to Vyman. Oxford chasing. Oxford wins it back nicely. Oh. He's given the ball away though. Played it into touch. Thought that was a tackle, but obviously not. Butterfield gets away from Oxford there. Spur can keep it in, he can. Good ball out to Bacali. Blackburn looked to play it out from the back. Bacali streaming forward here. Nice ball from Spur. Back out to Spur from Rhodes. The ball inside to Veritu. Gets his head on it. Oh, what a save. Unbelievable scenes there. Great save from the Derby keeper. Another good ball in from Spur. This is where all the action's coming in this first half. Down the left-hand side. Veritu gets his head on it. It's just put over. Veritu now. It's a whip and a cross. Put it into the danger area. Fisher's there. He gets his head on it. Header down into the floor. Oh, Oxford's been done there by Vyman. Little turn. Oh, Bent's offside. Oxford having a bit of a tough game so far. Looks like Derby are really trying to target the youngster. Here is Oxford now. Dribbling it out from the back. He's still confident. That's what I like to see about him. Oh, Bacali caught in possession though. Wins it back. So throw to Blackburn. Come on, let's keep up this pressure here. Oh, this is dangerous here. Byman ahead of Spur. Oxford now comes out to try and close him down. But he's made a mistake. Bent's in there, but Duffy cuts it out. But it's fallen back to Ben. Oh. Just about able to get it away there. And that's half time. Not a good start. Not a good half. Reese Oxford has had a bit of a nightmare. The young lad bought in for Hanley. He was a bit tired. Is Tim going to have faith? Keep him on. So Oxford has remained on the pitch in the second half. He's had a bit of a shocker. Even with Hanley fit and on the bench. Tim has decided to... Uh, Veritu. Oh, he's knocked off it really easily there by Pierce. Great play from Derby again. Their passing is just ripping us apart. One back by Oxford, though. Done better there. He's continued his run. Found Bacali. Sneaks inside. Can he get a shot away? Oh, the touch was just a little heavy from Oxford there. Not Oxford, sorry, from Bacali. Duffy chasing back against Vyman. Does really well to get a foot in, but the ball's still on. Vyman can whip in a ball from here. Great play by Veritu. And then he finds Bacali with a great ball. Bacali running into space. Oh, the touch. Not the best touch ever. Good ball out to Veritu, though. Tries to slip it through to Rhodes. Oh, he can't get there, Pierce. It's there ahead of Jordan Rhodes. Duffy in really strongly on Ince. Now Tider, what can he do? We need to have him launch the attack as he likes to. Switches it out to Bacali. Ball into Rhodes. Pulls the dummy. Hits it. Oh, he's hit the post. In G. Out to Fisher. Back to In G. They're working this calmly here. Blackburn. Oh, the ball in. Doesn't find anyone. It's able to be cleared away by Derby County. Here's Oxford, though. Good ball out to NG just at the right moment there. NG beats his man for pace. Ball back out to Henley. He keeps it in just about. Henley forced away from goal here. Tries to find an option. Ah, oh. Nice play though from NG to release Henley down the line. You get the ball in. It's a corner. Blackburn putting the pressure on here. We need a goal and we need one soon. 70 minutes gone. Ah, oh, the goal. Oh, what Carson able to gather. It's too close to him. Oxford gets ahead of Ben. He does really well to direct the header into Tider. Veritu turns. Ball into Fishers. Nicely weighted. 
Gets ahead of his man. Low cross. Rhodes! Jordan Rhodes! Yes. One all. Great play all around there. Good ball from Veratu. Finds Fisher. He's got the pace to get away from his man. And then it's a nicely measured low cross into the box. And Jordan Rhodes, today's captain, finishes clinically. Veratu just holding the pass off as long as he could. Good lateral run there from Fisher. Little touch to take it away from his man. It's a great ball. Lovely finish. Strong running here from Tider. Muscles him off still. He's looking for the run of Rhodes. He gets it. Oh! But Carly follows up. Oh, good tackle from Butterfield. Great strong running from Tider, as usual. It's got to be a foul, surely. No, it's not. Referee says no foul. Bent him on one on one with the goalkeeper. No! Oh, I should have kept the keeper in. Heartbreak here. We're caught out. Duffy caught out really badly there. Oxford sleeping as well. And then actually Duffy had maybe done enough at this point to get back in. But brought the keeper out. And he was left in no man's land. Could be cruising for another loss here. Just after I've been talking about how confident we are with the league. We've got no impact subs now. We've got no Lari. We've got no extra signing that we were hoping for. So there's not really much we can do in this sort of situation. Which is a real problem. But Carly though wins it back well. Into Rhodes. Back into Bacali. Oh, oh, he's still got it. No, he hasn't. Oh. Great tackle by Rhodes, though. Oh, and he's... Getting desperate here. Five minutes left. Oxford can't get his head on it there. Spur wins it back, though. That's nice. Vera, too. Needs to find the ball through. He does find the ball through. Jordan Rhodes. Oh, he had so much more time than he needed. Any thought there? So, bringing on some of the players that we really don't want to ever have to play. But unfortunately, with, without even Ulari on the bench as an impact sub, don't really have much choice. Only a minute left of normal time. No. Low with another good tackle, though. But that is a foul. And that is the end of the game. And that is a second loss of the season for Blackburn Rovers. I think we took this game too lightly, if anything. Darren Bent here. Looks like you can end the game for them. And that's it. Another rare loss. Very rare. A rare collector's item of a loss. For fuck's sake. Complacency again, I think, is the name of the game here. We had we had opportunities. We definitely had chances. We had less possession. We expected that. But it was in our finishing today that we were lacking. We did well to fight our way back. But that's, uh, that's, that's unfortunate. Feynman did well. He scored the goal ahead of Oxford, who, you know, didn't have a great game. He made some mistakes. One of them, unfortunately, was for the goal. Other than that, he came back into the game quite well. <sighs> Not really much to say. Tider should have been more involved. He didn't have a huge amount of the ball. When he did, he was dangerous. So there we go. Still 10 points clear. But that is a shame. That is a big shame. Two losses. 22 wins. 10 points clear still, though. Not bad. So that's the end of the episode. And to leave it on a bit of a down note in that we haven't managed to make any signings. Obulari is out until April. And we've lost another game. Wow. What a start. It's Monday, isn't it? You can tell. You can really tell. Ah, oh well. Well, hopefully in the next episode on Friday, we're up against Huddersfield Town. We'll have a bit more positivity. Maybe we need some... Uh, to distribute some Tim Sherwood tokens to the players. I think that might help. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in a bit.